Okay. And uh, we are about to get into pick ban here. Uh, again, just really explosive game one. Very, very close uh, game one here uh, from the side of TBR. Uh, as we were saying earlier in the stream, uh, just some really unfortunate, uh, just some really unfortunate decision making in the mid game. Uh, and we were talking about it a little bit off stream as well. But uh, you know, uh, to bear to kind of hit on a, a couple of your points, uh, what what, what were the couple of crucial mistakes uh, that TBR uh, made that they may want to try and clean up here in the second game? And while we do that, they're jumping into pick ban right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just a little bit of always remembering their win conditions. Um, in the last game, their win condition was to steamroll a fight as a group of five over the, the four-man group, which was going to be uh, the team that left the Nasus to split. You really have to commit all five players and destroy the four, the group of four, and then go deal with the Nasus after. Or it's just really hard to fight into the Kaisa unless you're running at her with such force that she can't escape. Um, yeah, you can't send three people after her. You can't, you can't even send four when she's that fed. Um, it's tough to leave Nasus alone for a bit, but it's it's almost worth it. And it's a necessary evil. I do agree. As we are into pick ban here, y'all banning out the J4 Yorick Vi uh, to the TBR Morgana Nocturne Ezreal. I really agree with that Morgana ban. Uh, so interesting. Y'all prioritize this at 20 pickup here, and TBR just follows that right back up with a Nami Kaisa uh, bot lane pick. Nami again being one of the really really good support champions of Wheels on the bus, and uh, and Kaisa, you know, being. Uh, a takeaway here from Sivan. They definitely don't want to see that again, but we see the Lucian pick, the Lucian Braum oh. in response to that matchup. Yeah, just very strong to touch I think they're just telling Sora pretty much to me the same situation. The way they run their team, damage mid and bot, just stand in front of us and we'll do the rest of the work. But yeah, Lucian Braum, very strong on Kaisa. Immobile gets hit by that Q, gets slowed down. They can get engaged on there, it's gonna be huge. Yeah, Nami, not, not only that, but the Braum can actually uh, wall off the uh, the Nami ultimate as well, so we'll mm -hmm. definitely be taking uh, a little look at that as the Garen pickup for Hillary Clinton. In They're hovering the it, they still got a little time. No, they, 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 they it well against Nathus. Oh, yeah, there he goes. And the, the little Sondra oh, band okay. from TBR. I'm actually. I'm actually interested in maybe uh, a. Yeah, they banned an Aryan themselves that time. Nasus. Yeah, smart Nasus ban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. And the Malzahar ban as well, taking Clumsy Chocobo off of that. Uh, I think we may try and see a jungle pickup here. That way you have the mid laner having. Uh, having maybe some hard CC here, but there's a lot of junglers there. That I mean. Are, that's cool that are taken out that do that. I, I honestly wouldn't. I yeah, wouldn't. I didn't, even, I, didn't, I didn't even like to see like a Zin Zhao or a Jax here, and then just like a hard CC top. Uh, a Kali though. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. So an a Kali pickup uh, that more than likely is going to be for the mid lane, and we have the LeBlanc Rumble coming out from y'all. Uh, in response to that, Rumble is a pretty is a pretty good counter to the Garen. Uh, Garen's not gonna have a fun time there, and the last pick is going to be the jungler. Yeah, now that he punch, if he doesn't get CC, they struggle hard. They pretty much have three fighters on their team right now. Go on, fourth one with that spicy ribbon pick. It might be Hobie on ribbon top. Who uh, knows? I don't. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this team here. Uh, is is that is that ribbon top? I. I think it's, I think it's, Riv it's Riven Jungle, but it's, just, it's such a, it's a very. <laughs> I'm trying to check the chat because uh, it, it, they haven't said anything about Hobie? it not being it. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm more interested in that. Maybe that that was an Akali misclick, and that was yeah. The Unless that's a Riven Jungle, that's the only plausible thing I see there because Akali Jungle is pretty abysmal. Well, it's really really feels bad. Mm -hmm. That's interesting comp. Both teams 
have so much damage here. No true tank, really, besides Sejuani. Garen's tanky, but can't really peel. Yeah, but Garen has the execute ability, which mm -hmm. is what was kind of missing from the last game as well. Yeah. Uh, that point and click execute is uh, is pretty substantial. We've seen uh, we've seen Ganween, uh, Ganween actually uh, make it happen uh, in a in a past game as well. So I'm I'm pretty interested to see um, I'm pretty interested to see what happens here uh, with the Garen pickup. Uh, just man, but a, an Akali mid and a Riven, a Riven jungle. Akali yeah. being the meme that she is right now, you know, I think she's sitting at about a what forty percent win rate. Something right abysmal. Now. Just just nerfing the Q and the R was just overkill from Riot. Uh, it was it was the Q, the R, and the Shroud. Uh, yeah, it, it, it nerfed her entire kit. It is. It did receive an, a buff though after that. Mm -hmm. And they oh, have been seeing that. it back in competitive play. Really. Hmm. I think the shroud itself is such an interesting mechanic that it does offer like a lot of utility if used correctly, and that's a, yeah. one of the toughest champs, if not the hardest champ to pilot, um, mm -hmm. in the game. I I wouldn't say the hardest, but I can probably think of harder ones. But it's it is definitely they, up to there. To do well early, it's it's pretty tough. If you know the damage numbers of that champion, it becomes rather disgusting. But I do, th I do agree, it's kind of weak right now. The addition of uh, Taste of Blood and Ravenous Hunter allow you to get that sustain you need, though. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, with the Gunblade Rush, you're not really going to be missing out on too much healing off of the Q. The Q is just kind of overtuned. But we are going to be here into Champ Select. Um, hmm. Let's just see who goes where here if they do any lane swapping at all. But mm -hmm. uh, by the way, Bear, you need to resub to the Johns because your emote does not work. Does it not? No. Oh my word. Oh, I got rid of my Twitch Prime, so. Ah well. I don't want to pay for Amazon Prime anymore, so I was like, eh. Uh, Whatever. Well, Rip. If I want your opinion, I'll beat it out of you. So interesting. Good. Ban adjustments from from game one. Really, it's, it's going to be so chaotic in team fights here. Like no one, so many people have like a one v one like built in comp, like Garen, Nakali, Riven. Target prioritization is going to be huge for the side of TBR. Okay, so we see Hillary Clinton currently uh, hovering around that Garen. And Clumsy Chocobo on the Akali, so for all intents and purposes... Yeah, they same lanes. For all intents and purposes, it looks to be a Riven jungle as as of right now. Um, so just just to talk a little bit more about uh, about the rest of the comp. Uh, Rumble into Garen, that, that is very much in the favor of Rumble. If if he can uh, if he can really just keep his uh, his overheat in, in check. Uh, he shouldn't really have that much trouble against uh, against Garen. Uh, Hillary Clinton trolling me right now, but that's fine. I I know where he's going. Um, yeah, yeah. I I think Rumble wins that pretty handedly. The Sejuani versus Riven matchup. I'm not too too well versed in that matchup, and I don't think uh, <laughs> I don't think, I don't I don't think very people, people on this planet are. So. Yeah. So. You know, so we know what this Ajwani really brings to the table from the jungle. What does the Riven bring, in in your guys' opinion here, as an uncharacteristic jungler? To me, it's like a Jax Light, if that makes sense. It has a similar kit with that stun, with a dash. He can jump on you as well, but Jax is just does everything Riven does better, aside from the ult, I feel like. Hmm. Bear, what are your thoughts? A way, a way to assassinate z -Ban. That's basically what I see. They're gonna try to merc z -Ban with this comp. Hmm. I mean, they want to merc everything. Yarn wants to run straight out but of the does. z looks merge. to be playing the mid lane. Could be, could be. Could it be Nate on Lucian? Yeah, that would be problematic for Chocobo. I just, it's interesting they picked this comp out and picked the Kai'Sa. Kai'Sa usually, like you were talking about before, wants to kite backwards. No one on their team is going to be, <laughs> if Kai'Sa kites backwards, his three teammates are going to run straight in front of him and not be there anyway. Yeah, this is a really weird comp. Uh, I don't know about that one. It'll be interesting. 
I don't know. I don't know if a lot of thought went into it. I think they just picked comfort here. I think since they went down in game one, in one, they're probably trying something just spicy this this round. See if it works. Coin flip it. It could yeah, go very well for them if they get ahead early. That's a scary comp to go against. Wait, wait. This is locked in. So it's Zwardo on the Akali mid. Riven top. Eighty carry of legends. Garen jungle with smite ghost. Oh, I don't. I don't, my, my I don't know about this. I think they're all trolling, but it's fine. The ghost is what. I, it, it could be a predator Garen, and that could be a little spooky for the enemy team. I've but seen they. A few normal games, but. Yeah, they have so many escapes to get away from the Garen. Is. I don't see this working out very well for TVI. Yeah, well, but Rumble drops the red knows? carpet down too. It's be so hard. To I'm calling maybe Hoagie carries on this Riven pick that they've been. Hoagie is one of the few people that actually uses the practice tool, practice these mechanics. So we'll see some nutty Riven mechanics. I'm guessing, but um, we'll see. Like I think Sivan Leblanc is scary, but he doesn't practice it too much nowadays. He has played a, a good amount rec in the recent couple days though so that's pretty spooky for the enemy team right now uh the lucian's just such a such a safe pick lucian braum is even scarier and safe um yeah it's they they have another mountain to climb on this game they have to deal with the sejuani stun the braum stuns rumble ult on top of all that cc and the blanc picking up oh, everyone off in the shadows it's just gonna be a Holy crap. Is that Membung on Kaisa too? Yeah, yeah. I, I played with him a little bit in bot lane. He's pretty proficient in AD carry. But... Yeah, he knows what he's doing, but it's just the amount of practice you put in helps a lot too. So mm -hmm. he's practicing mostly jungle. Yeah, so jumping like, from Vi to Kaisa, yeah. he's going to have the itchy trigger finger on that R as well. I'd like to see, I uh, like this is going to be spicy, uh, but uh, yeah, they, like they I said, win lane or, or it's, it's gonna be... I think it's going to be 80% chance y'all yeah. wins this. I would dodge this game. Oh, sorry, I was literally sorry, TVR. That. <laughs> well, in any case, uh, chat, we want to know who you guys think will win. Is it going to be uh, the meme comp of Legends uh, from TBR here with the Garen jungle and the, uh, the Akali mid? Or is it going to be the standardized team comp coming out from y'all? I wow. call, call this game freestyle versus standardized testing. This is, uh, this is something. This is very much something. Like, I love it. Are these any champions that haven't been picked yet? I'm pretty sure this is the first time a call has been picked up. It's gotta be uh, Riven too, right? No, uh, Hoagie's played Riven. Gotcha. Uh, in, in our game. Uh, but other than that, I think pretty much every other champ has been picked up. I think maybe the Rumble might be a first time. We have a lot of top laners that play it, but I, I don't know if... I think it's either been like picked or, ban uh, or banned a lot. Yeah, I was in a game yesterday. A cow played it yesterday. I week. thought so. So yeah, yeah. so... Yeah, really the only the only first time champion I think we're seeing here picked up is going to be the Akali. And again, that's just been... You know, the the whole meme of the uh, the percentages uh, mm -hmm. in play, but we'll see. We'll see what Zerardo does on the Akali. Maybe see if uh, you know he can make a case for it and make and say, hey, you know what, this uh, this champion does belong in competitive play. And as Bear said, does see a little bit of resurgence in competitive play as well. So I'm definitely excited for that. I definitely liked playing Akali uh, before the nerf. So uh, I'd like to see her pop off a little bit here. I'm not gonna lie. True, true, true. So who are we picking here? Which uh, ten, like, ten seconds. Here, yeah. Ten seconds. All right, wait on me. Yeah. Yeah, I just think people play very passively as a whole in this league in the leaning phase. I don't know if they can snowball hard enough to win this one. I hope they paused anyway. They paused at seven seconds on mine. That's where you guys are at, right? <laughs> yeah. But uh, we still have to pause because the pause time is going to be different. Yeah, it's going to mess us all up. Where are we pausing at? Uh, ten. 
10 seconds. They're about to end. Alright, let me change the stream to live. There we go. I can't play right now or pause. Yeah, yeah. we have to wait for them to unpause first. Yeah. Then we'll pause at 10 because it'll like desync all of us after this on pause. 9, 10, pause. Alright, I'm at, I'm at 10. Okay. Oliver. Alright, on go. 3, 2, 1, go. 11, 12. Yep. Good. We're good to go. Okay, we're back up in it for game two of TBR on y'all. After y'all took game one. Oh, also uh, make sure to switch the character portraits. Yeah. I did. That always. I did. Alright. I put Garrett oh, in the wrong man. lane like three times trying to rearrange this. <laughs> oh, I actually just did it too. Yeah, I put him top, then I put him mid. <laughs> Looking for an invade here. God, that rumble skin is so clunky. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. Hey, super Galaxy Chocobo, 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 Chocobo. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Clumpy Chocobo play Nami before. But it's not like it's super like mechanically intensive. I, I'd say it's actually very mechanically intensive with the uh, the way your ebb and flow works if you can maximize on that. As well as uh, if you can hit those nasty double bubbles of legends. Uh, mm. The double bubbles are really what make uh, the lane and Nami herself very, very scary. Yeah, but and, I doubt Brom yeah. and Lish will be on top of each other too much. Yeah. So we've got Garen starting red up here. They're gonna get an opposite size. I wonder if they're gonna horizontal or vertical jungle. Probably just vertical. Starbirds gets that nice leash. See, I'm very interested to see how this lane starts out early on for mid here. If LeBlanc just pokes and harasses him, it's gonna set Ari pretty far back. Yeah. Oh, but with the ebb and flow from Clumsy Chocobo, that's the power of Nami automatically winning that trade. Mm hmm. Hogan, we gotta nice be careful trade. shoving bot side here because Starbirds is gonna take this bot skull, probably look for a gank bottom. Yeah. While Garen's doing his chickens instead, not going for that scuttle yet. Oh no, Hoagie, this is a bad fight. Does not have the level 2 Iron 4 noob looking to be aggressive. Mm, yeah, so walks away. Mm. So yeah, they're actually going to end up going uh, horizontal jungling here. At least Sejuani is. Garen doesn't know yet. That ward actually expired as he was walking into that blue buff. They're checking it now. Menmung's looking over towards the blue buff. Servitz has that down to about 450. Smites it away. He's taking a lot of damage. The bubble misses him barely. Then Servitz flashes away with his life. Oh, the ghost pop from Hillary Clinton as Good job, Mr. Everts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very smart flash. So oh, I got walking straight eight. into Slaga Slash nice, so here. Yeah, this is just gonna be rough for Hoagie now. He just took a trade at the wrong time against a Riven that was or a Rumble that was shoving him in. Now it's just stuck under a tower for a while. <laughs> Riven with that long sword start has to pop all of his potions already. Yeah, you know, Hoagie with good combos on top. It's, the sad thing is she had the leash, so she doesn't have the wave advantage anymore. Can't fight into extra minions on Rumble, especially when it gets that level up. But uh, exactly, it won't be that bad for. Her. Oh, that's oh. unfortunate. Mm hmm. Just not respecting that early damage from LeBlanc. All right, Akali just really can't do much at level three against that. Well, I mean, just in general, I mean, the Akali, the Akali can't really do anything, like, the, the LeBlanc will just constantly pick you off over and over and over again, which mm -hmm. is kind of the problem with the Q not having the, uh, the healing that it used to have, because, uh, you know, you could actually out-sustain trades like that by just, uh, hitting the Q on a couple of minion waves and you'd be back to, you know, a relatively healthy status, but nowadays that's, that's just not the case. Yeah. It's Someone's just... getting caught a little bit here by Brom. One more proc will stun him, gets ignited by Nate. Brom is jumping forward, it's taking a lot of damage, has to flash away and gets healed. But still, the kill for Nate is huge there in that lane. Uh, Akali has the option of running um, 
what is it? The Ravenous Hunter, Taste of Blood, and also Dark Seal at the start. But she opted for well, the Long Sword. I was surprised. I was surprised by no Dark Seal and no Corrupting Potion against the LeBlanc mid. So it's um. I could see why you don't go corrupting, but the like the dark seal is pretty crucial there for sustain. I believe. Strange interaction on that Q through the wall, though. It's oh, why would you take that? Oh wait, no. Uh, this I'm is why. Go. Yeah, Akali does well into LeBlanc oh, for this reason. Oh, super hard into the tower. What a good kill! What a good kill. kill. It's still in the shroud. He, oh, but now the smoke is gone. It's all truth, and he is killed by. Super Insane hard. kill there, though. I, I guess yeah. that's why you go the long sword. You have the kill pressure there. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, I honestly didn't know that uh, LeBlanc was so far pushed up into that minion. Did not have the, uh, did not have the wave. Actually, it was in a whole bunch of minions and took a lot of aggro once. Uh, once he missed out on that trade, as a wheels on the bus, looking to be pretty aggressive here. Has a conqueror, but Iron Yeah, it's just too much damage. Good oh, stun. Wait, no, he's taking Knight down. Oh, oh. he's taking down. Yeah, yeah, he had the W anyway. If Hoagie had not uh, cancelled one of those autos, it would have been a little bit of a different fight. Hoagie's hungry though, he can taste blood in the water. It's gonna look in the... Well, Overall good trade for Hoagie though. Yeah, yeah. But Iron Four Noob has so the teleport, teleport advantage, yep. so she can just TP back to lane, freeze it if he wants. Or just fight. Not only that, not only that but it has about a 16 CS lead as well. I think he's opting for the freeze. Take a look at top lane real quick. He's gonna, if Iron Four Noob is smart, he just locks this lane up and freezes it. But he, I think he's just gonna he, try to shut this out. Twice this now, is yeah. actually okay because it's still a tough lane for Riven to run back to. So he, she's gonna lose a little bit of creeps under turret because he's able to shove this out in time. So either way, I like my lane 32 degrees, completely frozen. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, that's just me, preference. I, I do yeah, see why. Turret plating is nice. You can push in, get that yeah, turret, turret plating gold. Turret plating and just denying that EXP uh, from a Riven so the Riven doesn't come online uh, as early as uh, as possible, which is what Hoagie's going to be looking to do. And also, now extending into like a 20, what, 6, 27 uh, CS lead here. The Garen Gang the Predator, Predator get him! <laughs> oh, he went back in! Steven, what are you doing? Oh, that could have been bad for C-Van, real yeah, quick. I don't think anyone expected that, even C-Van, so luckily... <laughs> ...happened from it. But yeah, I was, I was about to say before that gank happened, all three lanes are losing priority right now, but they opted for a jungler like Garen, who just can't apply any pressure really to those lanes. Once Garen's got Moby Boots, it's a different story. It's so fast. Oh, oh again! Oh, Braum Lucian, uh, incoming. Walks too far forward, yeah. It's not respecting that Q, and then the Lucian easily with the passive getting the stun off. And sadly, the flash blown at the end of it by Clemson Chocobo as well. Not only can Braum stop the redirect on the heal with his shield, he can uh, slow Nami, which she fuck, she hates that. She has all move speed abilities, basically. Mm -hmm. And, Looking like, for a gank top yeah, once you get well, slowed, that's no all over. For... Rumble drops down the old, just burns down wheels on the bus, but it's going to keep pushing here. A colleague could look to get the kill if he gets to kill the, kill the minions. Colleague's taking a bunch of damage from the flamethrower, though. Here comes the rumble yeah, damage. Yeah. Oh! Uh, the old, oh! The rumble flashes, but still ends up dying. Got him. Very good play by Zawarido. Knows his damage on Akali. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that knight saved his butt there, too. But at the same time, they do get the kill top, but they had to use two people, and then the, it's gonna be a free dragon for y'all. And yeah, not only that, you picked up the kill onto the Garen as well. Uh, Garen, you know, trying to fight for the blue buff, but unfortunately, if your bot lane, uh, if your bot lane is MIA or you're, you know, you don't really yeah, have behind uh, too. priority. Yeah, I mean, it's just bot lane has no priority against the solution problem. You can't, you know, you have to kind of concede the bottom half of your jungle and just, you know, try and make something else happen anywhere else. But as you said before, as a Garen, it's uh, it's kind of hard to understand and register that, or to even <laughs> remedy that as well. Yeah, it's probably just confused why you're not top lane. <laughs> I'm telling you, Garen's gonna grab these Moby boots. If 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 I'm right, he goes Moby boots, Moby then he starts boots getting his he gets these ganks off in a speedy boy fashion. Becomes a pseudo Ramus with a sword. Gets the It'll be a little bit the, spicy. Uh, and the ghost blade. 
But he's gotta do something with those ganks because top is just getting permanently shoved. And Iron Four Noob's not even really respecting the enemy team right now. Tribush hasn't been warded for about three or four minutes. They're doing the old build up shutdown gold on the enemy team and then take it from them and scale. Like candy from a baby. Yeah, but as we see here, 10 minutes into the game, already a 4k gold lead on the side of y'all. Uh, pretty feels bad. Oh, the right drummers now. are gonna awkwardly see each other here. Red buff priority is on. Get him, Hoagie. Who's gonna jump in? Oh, but Garen is getting burned down by that rumble load. Garen is just out of the fight completely now. Now he's just stuck in a 2v1. Mm. Oof. Not gonna want to see that happen. The Ignite almost kills Sejuani. He gets away. About 100 health though. Good rotation also, on Iron 4 Noob. Mm -hmm. Didn't like use the Wind Slash. Out. Didn't use the Wind Slash. If Hoagie had used the Wind Slash, I think that that fight would have gotten, uh, would have been won. Well, yeah, yeah. The word win in it, so. I, I would have really liked to see a, a double Hex Drinker rush, maybe even a triple hex drinker rush from all these carries because of the tr the triple AP threat from LeBlanc, Sejuani, and Rumble. Mm -hmm. I, I, like maybe not on Kaiser because she has to deal with Lucian right away, but and she has to get her items. But I think you can even get away with getting hex drinker on Akali Blanc's and the Riven. Right oh, Nami actually has to oh just for them to not even die. Yeah, and that unbreakable uh, that unbreakable will yeah. going in pretty close. Well, uh, what? Did I just watch yeah, it anyway? Uh, I guess going to go in deeper. Thalrido widely goes in and out. Great burgers. Good idea. So yeah, it's a night down on c van pretty much for free. So massive CS difference in top. There's 20 CS up in mid. 25-ish. Yeah, two kill difference bot side. Yeah, this is not looking too good for the side of TBR. The one... Shining thing is the Moby like, boots are completed. Like He's coming yeah, in. Look at him, Moby Predator. Where Let's it? do a Moby tracker. Oh, here it is. Fifty movement speed. Oh my goodness. And no response. Went, much like but it's okay because Sidwani was there. Could have gone badly. Yeah, Not so much bad. Like for being them. the tallest man on earth when you're the fastest man on the earth. It's a lonely existence. Now I'm getting it's caught out again. Sadly. Yeah, it's pretty much the free tones free on Nate. They're exhausted. Used by Nami. Oh. Too used to playing LeBlanc where he can W out, but with Nami... Yeah, all the W did was heal him. Was, yeah, was you get move speed, but you, when you get slowed, that's percent yeah. slow on your max yeah, like, when you're, move when speed. you're getting counter juggled by a Sejuani, you know you're not... Can't run. Yeah, you can't run when you have no feet, right? Yeah. You can only swim. On this here, actually. Oh, Riven! Wait, let's go! Oh, the shield bait! Oh, the so shield bait! Close. That's so sad. But Hoagie, good try. Honestly, yeah, good try. If he's gonna get a kill, it would've been that time, because if he press X, he was sitting on 2300 gold from Rumble right there. Probably gonna come back in with the Leandries now. Oh, Rush's Morel and Namacon's gonna make that shield even worse for Riven. Flogger has to actually flash away on this engage, but Hillequin's going way too deep. He's gonna get stunned up and killed. Get stunned mid animation! Oh, nice old from Sejuani as well. Sarudo's in the shroud, gets healed up. Sarudo's gonna jump on Sarudo's oh. now. Ends up destroying him, but will get killed by LeBlanc. Man. Yeah, they just, they got a good catch on on the slug initially, but once they got the flash and they're so behind, they should've just took that small advantage and just kind of walked away with it. And uh, just a little bit of a recap here. Uh, two minutes ago, I said they had a 4k gold lead. They now have a uh, 6. They now have a 6k gold yeah, lead on minutes. the side of y'all in about 13 minutes, which oh, is uh, pretty feels bad. Oh, it is 2v1 bot side, though. Menbug wants to go straight in, gets the E from Nami. It's a little bit of slow, but they couldn't get enough damage down. Just, just a single pickaxe, not it. Can't really do anything. And same old story topside, poor Hoagie is shoved in the tower. This Morello is making his shield non-existent. Yeah, like Hoagie Legends just point out in the chat, Hoagie's only damage item right now is a longsword. There's no way he can win any trades right now against a Morello Nomicon. Yeah, that sword's long, but it's not long enough. Active shields trades OP. Just disappeared. I blinked. And then one full combo just killed Zalvarudo in the mid lane there. Wow. Yeah, the camera didn't ever catch up to it in time. That was a good combo, Steven. 
Not hey, gonna press lie. QR. His QWR, he is a maniac. Some BM coming out from the casters, I love it. That's any that's any It's just memeing, just memeing. He landed everything. <laughs> that's just that's just that that lane, whoever's ahead, is gonna get nuked and sadly Akali is just not ahead. Yeah. Can the and speedy that, boy save the day? Yeah, can he he can run circles around him. They're gonna get rift out here, work their way down towards that drive. Like, they have pretty good vision control. They end up losing mid tower to LeBlanc there as well after that solo kill. So honestly, if I'm the side of y'all, oh, accidental flash maybe? I think that was one accidental flash and then another one to follow him up. But yeah, if I'm y'all, I just group here, send down that rift herald, and really just brom and rumble all your way into getting a tower. Yeah, 10k gold lead on the side of y'all right now, 15 minutes into this game. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be one of the biggest early game leads we've seen. Rich can check that up later. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll on this address and, yeah. and ask for sure, for sure. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's pretty, you know, not trying to be toxic or anything, but it's pretty much inevitable at this point. Kaisa's uh, still on the zero deaths. Let's see if yeah. Venbun can come out with that hard carry. She has the one can item Kaisa, completed. Kaisa throw storm racers first still? Uh, you can. It gives you the early double upgrade. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, and the other pick. And then you go yeah. into Ginsu or into IE, I believe. I think Ginsu, right? Yeah, I think Ginsu then IE. Or maybe not. I'm not even sure what you... It depends on what you want to build, I believe. But we'll see. So she's I'm not really to... sure about that channel. That's a question for Sivan. I haven't played it since the crit changes, really. But I, yeah, it is it is a huge lead. If there's any way for Bung to get back into this, they've got to clear out vision. They can get a catch with Nami, and then Akali does do enough damage with one full item to nuke someone down. But right now, they're not, they've got a little bit of vision control in the bottom side of their jungle. But Kaisa's not with the team right now either, and they're looking to just kind of hunker down and drop this rift here on the top side. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, and then there's the rumble. The rumble just, it's gonna take a call straight out of the fight. Hoagie's gonna jump in and gets knocked back by a Sejuani. That's a boar with a giant flail Cinnabon thing. So. Oh, Hoagie, get him! Oh, oh, Hoagie, wow. go, go, fly, fly, attack! Is that Ignite gonna burn him? Ignite might try to go. If it's not, not quite. <laughs> You're in Predator Gear. And... Yeah. So, you know how they talk about going 0 to 60, how fast you do that? Garen just did the opposite and went 60 to 0 in terms of his movement speed. It's even cleaning up the kill on the side as well. And here comes the Rift Tower. This is probably going to end up being an turn. Rumble TPing down bot side to make sure not too much damage is done to their tower. Oh, they were unfortunately, they couldn't get that kill, bef the tower kill before Rift Tower did that first leap. But it's still get a nice jump right here on this one. And thank you, Legends. It's uh, he's saying it's the Storm Razor build. You go Storm Razor, Ginsu's, and then rush a Hurricane right after that. Hurricane, okay, gotcha. And that allows you to hit both the frontline members at once, mm -hmm. or even all three. Compare if you have to consider Rumble, Sejuani, and Brom at once to pick them up, true, just true. to chunk them out so their team can do something. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But eh, it's just that's a. That's if, a beefy they, boy frontline to hit, especially into Brom shield. If they rotate right now, it would be a 5v3 mid side oh with Brom recalling and rumble, but they don't have the vision to know that. And yeah, the damage to Hillary Clinton even. Yeah, the damage to their tank is, is just substantial at this point. Even the tank can't really take more than one rotation from C-Van here. Oh, here we go, Manbug. Frontline Kaisa jumps in. Oh, very nice bubble from Nami. Get him! He gets burned down still. One more auto Got him, kill. got him. Uh, yeah, ends up getting the shutdown goal. Well, it was 1 0 0, is now 1 and 1. Hey, we'll take it. You're getting more gold on the Kaisa. Completing that Gensu soon. Maybe in another 1k, 1500 gold ish. <laughs> but that's. Will they even get there? Uh, <laughs> Hillary Clinton literally just came back from the fountain and was greeted by LeBlanc to the face. No MR items from them. It's just gonna be rough until they build the MR items. They have zero yeah, magic they, resist besides yeah. the Merc treads. Yeah, Lucian's really the only AD damage dealer on this team. Yeah, Leandries and Morello is just shredding through them. And we're about to see uh, 
Morello on the side of C Van as well yeah. and LeBlanc. And even if they build MR now, there's there's magic penetration items. Mm -hmm. Double from Rumble and one from C Van right now. Well he has pen boots as well, so triple from Rumble and two from C Van. It's it's very tough. They're doing almost true damage to you. Yeah, yeah, and they're just wisely doing the right thing from the side of y'all. They're just grouping as five. They know how strong they are with their ult. They don't have to do anything super crazy or heroic, in my opinion. Saw Warudo and Menbun gotta put the team on their back. Yeah, they and... need an instant catch, kill one of the carries. Yeah. Then they need some wonky team fight where the other team gets too greedy and dives their turrets too deep. Yeah, I think, I think if, like, initially, if the Rumble all goes down and then they try to... If you're going a little bit too deep, C-Man loses about half health, but look at the health bar on Menbung. He's gonna get the redemption on him. The dive is gonna go down now. That's the Rumble ult and the Brando. That's the Song of Fire and Ice just shredding them down. Rumble! Look how deep, but he's <laughs> doing his he's doing work. Yeah, he's just moving his big, dumb robotic body straight into the enemy team. The team is gonna clean up there. If he hits one more E, he can kill Nami. Flash forward, see if he That's gonna, gonna be in Hib, d double in Hib. Yeah, that's an ace right there. It's a minion wave. See, this is where, if they choose to try to end this, this is where the throw could come in. They're all half HP, they could get wiped here if they try to end. Yeah, no ult either. I think they're gonna wisely double in Hib and back off. We'll see, they might get greedy. Looks like they're backing, and this could be a fake. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely safe for Hoagie, going too deep. The or not, just jump straight into the 1v5. It's fight, never going to work. Unless you flash in with your ult and stun all of them immediately. But it's yeah. very tough. Yeah, we're looking at about a 16k gold lead now. Oh, hey. Menbong doing a lot of damage, but just couldn't Y'all just need to reset, do the Baron, seal the game out, not try to throw right yeah, here. Yeah, get Mountain, then Baron too, if they want to kill different faster. This is exactly what they'll do. They're gonna get the mountain drink here with Sir Everett's. Yep, good call. And it's about the Surrender the one percent chance coming in for TBR now. Surrender vote failed. Uh. Oh boy! Don't let your memes be memes. Let them be dreams. I really got a feel for them. Um, mm -hmm. Just. Uh, yeah, they just, just seems, kind of trying to shake yeah. things up, see if something good could come from it. They just not the only game they wanted. Just seems they haven't been able to figure out their team identity. Mm -hmm. They they swap things around a lot, but uh, it just doesn't seem to click quite yet. I, I there is still a lot of time left in the league for them to figure things out, so there is hope. Yeah, I'd say about half the league is in that kind of limbo situation. I mean, if you look at it, y'all was only one game above the series started. Indeed. A lot of people just really need to sit down and say, what kind of comp are we trying to achieve? You know, do we want a poke comp? Do we want a hard engage comp? Do we want a peel back comp? Mm. And work your way around that. Oh my goodness. But yeah, they're gonna look, try to look to end here through the mid lane. Just, the damage is just absurd coming out of Rumble right now. Just melts down, and then C Van's gonna end up cleaning up. Dimash Proc will take this first Nexus Tower, they're gonna go for the second one as well. Try to look to finish the game a little bit. Shy of 23 minutes here. Saruto jumps in, gets killed by Rumble. It's a little bit of stat padding to finish up the match. This will end up being a 2 0 forward side of y'all. A very clean game, too, for them. GG, well played. GG's. We had a very back and forth game one until about the 25 minute mark. In game two, things were mixed up a little bit there. And Go look at the scoreboard and then damage charts. I got it. Yeah, I want to see that Rumble damage. Holy crap. He is 6k above everyone else. Like whole, he did, I can't do math good, but he did like almost as much as most of the enemy team. Wow. That's a lot of damage coming out for Rumble. Let's see the self mitigated from these shielding champs. Yeah, he mitigated more than enemy team even did on you know, their individual players. His rumble shield is insane. What is that mitigation? Is that Garen W? Yeah. And yes. then um, so probably like a uh, ribbon shield and stuff. Yeah, ribbon shield, ribbon E. So yeah. of, the shield's OP, resistance OP. Is that aftershock from Sejuani doing that? Um, I think so. It gives you resistances. So. Yeah, it's aftershock. 
Yeah, Aftershot is soaking 10k itself. So, wow. Uh, all right, stream. Well, I actually have to go here, but I will leave you with uh, leave you with Bear and uh, and Dustin to be able to go ahead and finish it off. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sign off early. So thank you for watching, stream. Uh, you know, I'll see you guys on the next one. Yep, yep. I'm gonna make a straw pool. Thank all you right. for streaming, dude. Straw pool. I want. Yeah, give the channel a follow. We'll be streaming lots of PMA LCS games on this, as well as our main channel, twitch.tv slash PMA LCS. Just saw a hectic game two. NFC, and then there's... Wait, let me... Nate. Do some interview uh, questions and stuff. And Iron Four Noob. Game two is a tie between Iron Four Noob and C Van, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll check the poll one more. Uh, I don't actually. It Three, show four. And I'll spam this in chat. And let me get the stream going to this. Hold on, I have to edit this. Properties two zero. Uh, who are you going to vote for this uh, MVP vote? Curious. It's hard because a lot of the solo lanes won, but I think really, shutting down the Riven top, I got to vote for Iron 4 Noob. Yeah, that I got to like vote for him as well. For them, yeah. Gotta Just say, sheer amount of damage done. Yeah, Steven, great job on LeBlanc. Um, Nate, great job stopping the ADC and putting that lane away. Slaga Sasha, always solid in the sport role. Uh, Sir Everts, great job stopping in, doing, doing a job as a jungle. Um, nice invade early, I gotta say. Uh, but Iron 4 Noob carrying, the, carrying that game just uh, with the rumble knowledge, knowing knowing his health bar really well, knowing how much his shield could tank and turn the fights. Um, gotta say, unlucky for Hoagie, had to leash early, didn't get the gank level 2 to make up for the leash, but um, and cancelled a couple autos that could have turned some kills, but Honestly, good effort from both sides. Uh, just unlucky. Team comp really sealed it for uh, y'all in that one, I believe. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. Uh, so can we get Iron Four Noob and C Van in the uh, player of the game chats? And we'll meet you in there. If I find this Discord ever and the millions of Discords yeah, I have. Player of the game one, please. And we're in there. Hey, what's going on, guys? What up, what up? Great game, great game. And Thank you. Two, and three, and four, um, so, chat, can we get some questions for these MVPs? Questions, please. And do we have any questions yourself, uh, Dustin? Yeah, dude. Um, really, I guess game one after they took that early lead on you guys. What were the comps? How did you guys transition from early mid game into that team fighting phase? Game one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, game one. So basically, for me, they were just like Max, stay in the side lane. Don't play with other players. Just get more powerful so you can't even use it against people. I barely interacted with people until they were all on top and that kind of helped transition into team fights. When they had, you know, like two people on me and across the map you've got the rest of the team fighting. It really worked out. Gotcha. Yeah, our mid game team fights were basically like we'd engage and then somewhere somehow max one V three. 
and That's he just, so that was like all of the mid game fights. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> uh, what kind of work went into your pick band prep this week? Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that. So, after the last couple weeks, we've noticed that our pick band is kind of like, oh, I want so and so champion, and that's about all we think about. So I actually I talked to Greg, and I was like, hey, what do you have any tip? And he gave us some some pretty pretty good indications of where we needed to take our pick band and this time we we went in and we were like oh if they do this we can do this mm. instead of just follow our plan so it was a lot more flexible um, yeah d dynamic like just instead of uh set plan in mind and, and like if something goes off that plan it's not getting awkward you can you have a plan a flow chart to adjust to it right yeah i get it Greg is super good at that, obviously, being an esports coach. I have him on my team. He shows me stuff I've never seen before for pre prepping for that. Because I'm not a very organized player myself, but uh, Greg, definitely top of the top of the league for organization and stuff for pick ban. Uh, so he's yeah, great, great on you for asking for advice on that and using it. Used it very well. You had, you had the win in pick ban both times. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, great mechanics coming from the rumble there. Um, uh, do you want to talk about um, your rumble experience, like how you were able to know you were gonna live like each time with that shield, or are you baiting them a lot of times? Like, yeah. So um, I one tricked rumble for season six and seven, just playing in rumble in the jungle. Um, mm -hmm. Even though it wasn't like in lane quite as much, I still just knew all the, you know, just playing him so much and so often, you know, like his finer details, exactly how to play him, you know, his attack speed, how many di uh, <clears throat> auto attacks you can dish out when you're overheated, when people think, you know, I'm vulnerable. Um, especially knowing the W shield is really important to just knowing exactly how much faster and how much you can stop, because that can turn a lot of fights or bait a lot of team fights. Hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, experience showing in that game for sure. Uh, I got some questions from chat here. Um, I'm gonna start with how does one achieve Super Saiyan status while playing play, playing Nasus from Blue Flames? So, step one, you have to buy that skin. I don't own it, sadly. But, and uh, how and how do you feel after steamrolling the expiring box from Super Hoagie? <laughs> 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 I mean, just press R, man. You just, just press R, man. <laughs> how did I feel? I felt really upset, Ogie. I didn't want to do it to you like that. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I didn't want to. From Legends, for this is for C Van. Um, uh, great game, C Van, by the way. Uh, great games, actually. Uh, why would you keep playing ADC when you can play mid like this? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I only play LeBlanc, so. <laughs> I mean, I guess I play other champs, but I don't know. I like ADC, it's fun, and I feel like it's probably currently my better role in general. And it's like, we just have the option to flex anyway, so it like works out, we can do either. Hmm. Gotcha. That was a question from Legends in chat. Um, the question for Slaga uh, from Sir Everett's. Can Sir Everett's join your team so he can be on a team that appreciates him? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't appreciate you. <laughs> Matt, I mean, you, <laughs> you were on my team for Fall Brawl, uh, and, like, I love you, but Fred's my guy for this season. I'm sorry. Oof. I can't, you know, <sighs> those spicy drag assaults. I can't. You miss too many. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, that's it for questions from chat, it looks like. Uh, any more questions, Dustin? Uh, I'm good. It's a fun series to watch. Gotcha, yeah. I'm not a whole lot to say about that. Um, yeah, you guys executed your comps very well. Pig Band played to your strategy of... Um, like, I'd, I'd say the only... The only, like, optimization things 
where that the casters kind of noted was like even when the infernal drake is spawning um you could still have nasus split like i think it's okay for you to group there honestly like like you did um i would say tp utilization like a lot of us are yeah yeah because you could you could tp back to the fight and still have that split pressure and still be scaling up in the sideline uh or pressuring a turret but at the same yeah. time, being there for the start of the fight and guaranteeing you don't ha have to TP to a bad ward or something uh, is is nice. And it gives you the option to TP back to lane after um, if you need to. So I don't really mind that call. Um, I, I can actually kind of explain that a little better. So we actually wanted him splitting for Baron. Mm. The, the Infernal Drake was something we noticed was coming up and we were like, okay... So we'll set him up in bot, take the dragon, leave him in bot, and go up to Baron. That was what we were thinking. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well executed game. Uh, thanks for coming in here, guys. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to uh, cut the stream soon. So uh, thank you guys for watching and chat. Uh, do you want to say some goodbyes, guys? Goodbye. Guys. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> So long. So All right, long. parting song begins now.